So this is my metal smelter. Um, the main body of it is made from an old uh, obsolete propane container. I guess it's uh, the 30 pound variety. I've uh, basically uh, separated it here so that it has a top that opens up. Um, the exhaust here has a little thing that's removable so you can actually see into it when the fire is burning and you can check in there and throw more ingots in the crucible and it's also got this neat little cover that's probably never going to be used but I made it anyways um, the refractory on the lids pretty thick I would say it's about two to three inches thick but on the sides here it's only about a half an inch, well a little over a half inch maybe three quarters of an inch thick and then some places it's an inch thick uh, but it's right about there so I may be adding another layer of refractory in there we'll see but that's probably thick enough but uh, it's got the exhaust It's got, uh, I don't know if you can see that, somewhat concaved bottom, which may be problematic, but we'll see. You can see that same kind of, I don't know what that's called as far as type of metal that is. But uh, it's been kind of poured into the, the refractory just to keep stuff from falling down into the burner unit. There's the burner that I showed on my last video. Firing it up. Still got to make a few adjustments to just the nozzle. I need to flare that out a little bit. Should be taking care of that here in the next couple of next week or so. Here's the plumbing at the bottom. It's black iron pipe. Um, burner will actually be right inside here. There will be a hole drilled here in this black pipe for the smaller half inch black pipe to feed the gas into the burner. The burner is going to sit right up here. The very tip of the burner is going to sit right up here. Tweers on the side of the burner are right in line with the intake here which is going to be hooked up to a vacuum cleaner which that vacuum cleaner has uh, way too much power so I need to get uh, a uh, control valve to allow the right amount of airflow from the intake here so we can get that gas air mixture proper so I still need to do a little work here as far as getting a valve and also installing the burner that's going to be installed uh, something like this uh, something right about like that and then this section of inch and a half pipe will actually be about probably five feet long just to give me some distance so I'm not having to have heat near this rubber hose because I definitely don't want uh, to blow a hole in my rubber hose from God knows what just being exposed to too much heat so it's going to be about five feet of this black pipe so, I don't know, it's a fun little project. I don't know, I mean, I've seen people to where they've built these in the ground and basically haven't spend, spent any money on it. And I would say that a lot of the stuff here I've found, I found the tank. Uh, I went to the junkyard and grabbed, uh, that's why these pieces of angle iron are, are welded. It's because those were just links that were in a in a junkyard that I got, I think, for 50 cents a pound or something like that. Um, and, 
Yeah, I needed a small welder to weld it all together. And I had that sitting around, so probably got about two, roughly, with the regulator and the propane tank, about two fifty, maybe three hundred dollars all together wrapped up. And I haven't finished or even started the vegetable oil burner yet, which will be installed right in here. But I'm going to need to extend this area. So, but yeah, it's it 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 will be uh. It'll be really interesting to see how it all works and how it all is integrated together. And I don't know. I think I've done a fairly good job. Um, I'm totally happy with it. It's pretty compact, and I don't know how many pounds of aluminum or brass I'll be able to smelt, but I would imagine it can hold quite a bit for being such a small machine. And uh, I know I've got a friend that's a blacksmith that has a blacksmith shop, and this will find a permanent home in that blacksmith shop. So it'll be nice. So this is, I guess, pre-assembly to my aluminum and brass uh, smelter. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me, and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, I definitely, when I get this thing fired up over at the blacksmith shop, I will be doing another video, and uh, we'll have fire then. Until then, see you guys later, and uh, have fun on YouTube. It's a blast.